Becky, thank you for joining me. I know you're frustrated after that 1 1 draw against Chorley. Before we do get into that draw, I just want to quickly talk about it's nearly one year since the takeover. Well, these new owners have came in and, and changed the club, changed uh, you know, the stratosphere of a women's game for us, trying to develop this team. Just talk us through what the, what the past 12 months has been like for you. Yeah, Briefly. It's been, it's been an incredible journey. I think um, to think this time last season, well, well, probably a few weeks before that, we, we didn't even know that the takeover was on the horizon. And then since Amanda Murdad and the new owners have come on board, it's just transformed everything at the club. And our, our women's team has been an exciting part of that as well. Um, so, yeah, having the backing of the, the owners and their trust and, you know, the added support they've, that they've given the team, it's just really important moving forward. And, and that's why you bring in 2,300 um, young girls and boys to come and watch the team at Kingston Park it's just so much more professional and we're really grateful for the sport we've had but we need to make sure that we you know give the owners something to cheer about two draws this weekend from the mm. men's and women's team probably really disappointed with both I think both games were kind of similar definitely yeah, no similar sorry I mean yeah. two one ones not just the scoring but in terms of huffing mm. and puffing and not quite getting that breakthrough in the, in the final third yeah I mean I was at the game yesterday as well it was quite similar it just felt like both teams were too casual and it just needed that um, it just needed that little bit of quality to see the game out and I just think you know it almost feels like two points dropped instead of a point gained but it'll still be a valuable point on the board as the season progresses for both teams I'm sure mm. um, but yeah we're really disappointed and we'll be you know raring to put that right in the cup game against Lincoln next week bit of a bogey team Jolly turn out. I mean, they couldn't get, get get a result last season against them in terms of three points, and then this season again, it's a frustrating, yep. frustrating one, isn't it? It is. It's you know they're a hard team to play against. I think someone had put on social media they're a thorn in everyone's side, and they definitely are. Um, they're good at set pieces, and we said that to the girls before the game and at half time. Don't give away cheap set pieces. Um, and what that's what's so frustrating that the goals actually came from a free kick. Um, but yeah, we just need to dust ourselves down, go again with some good quality training sessions this week and make sure we're prepared for Lincoln, which will give us another game in the tank before we come to our next league game. I tell you what, though, it's absolutely amazing to see the turnout again here at yes. J. King's Park, isn't it? I think it was the record today, wasn't it? 2,300 plus mm -hmm. for, for the girls here. I was just wondering, have you spoke to the owners about getting back to St. James' Park? Is there anything in the pipeline this season to do that? Yeah, we will be playing at St. James's Park in in the next couple of months. Um, I don't know if the dates went out yet, so I can't say actually, <laughs> but definitely um, that'll happen before Christmas actually. Um, so we're really, really excited about that. Um, but yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for me. There's a disappointment that we're sending 2,300 fans home without three points and their support was deserving of actually a win today. So yeah, we're really disappointed in that respect. But I mean, it's it's refreshing to see what the changes in the region is in the, in the development of this women's game, and you see all the smiles and faces on on, on the young girls and boys today, and it'll be brilliant to see that turnout again. Because we talked to Amanda earlier, and she said she wants to smash the record, and <laughs> confident yeah. Jodie's can do that. Absolutely, and it's just the visibility that's so important. If you're a young girl in the crowd, you're seeing another girl wearing the black and white shirt and knowing that can be you if you work hard and you've got that talent for football. Um, but yeah, I'm sure Amanda is very ambitious. Um, I was talking to her yesterday. She's, you know, she's really excited about making sure that crowd is breaking records and we're surpassing at least what we got last season at St James's Park, but if not, the WSL record as well, mm. um, which I'm sure... Geordies with such massive hearts for the club will come out in big numbers. And the goal this season is, is promotion and that's it really, isn't it? Yeah, that's the only aim. Yeah, try and claim those leagues and get this. Because imagine this in the WSL would be fantastic, wouldn't it? It would. I'm sure we'd fill the stadium in the WSL. It's just, at the minute, with context, we're only in Tier 4. Um, and we just need to keep climbing the league table with good performances. But we just have to make sure days like today are three points and not just the one. OK, thanks for your time, Becky. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.